Hey there, I'm the Dungeon Coach Creator DC20, and there has been some huge progress made that I want to share with you guys on the big overall front of DC20, specifically in digital virtual tabletops. I'll be making videos and updates on any sort of new thing that's coming to the table, any sort of tool for the community to be able to play DC20 even better. And Man Oh Man has Foundry really pushed to the front and has something right now that you can play DC20 on Foundry for free right now. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I went and did a deep dive with Bailey and Patrick, the two uh, front runners of this whole thing. We did a video. I'll also link that video down the channel that actually shows us walking through the whole thing if you want to see the whole play by play. But I'm going to give you a quick breakdown showing the highlights of, oh my gosh, that's what it looks like. And here's what you can do. And then I'll show you how to get your whole hands on it. Let's go. So first things first is the character sheet. Look at this thing. It is so clean and streamlined. It's amazing. All of these things, there is actually uh, spoilers to two of the biggest features there's a full-blown character creator you can make and it guides you through a character which i'm going to show show in this video as well but once you've made that character with an in-game in tool in foundry that lets you actually guide through that process puts it all in there calculates it for you does all the math for you uh look how clean this is and you can click all these buttons might Agility, charisma, intelligence, all right here. There's all the values. You click this little bubble to see if you are have mastery in that save or not. And if you click this, it makes an agility check. If you click this, it makes an agility save. There's a physical save, there's a mental save. Oh my gosh, it's all right there. Uh, this tracks your action points, being able to uh, spend, and that's also the symbol for action points. This also does a very clean job of having symbols mean something. So you see that symbol in it, that's the cost of what the thing is, right? You can even see down here a little sneak peek inventory. This is a long sword. The cost to, to make an attack with it is one action point. It's the same symbol as that thing. There you go. Super cool. So there's your four action points, temporary health. There's your health. This, this bar actually goes down whenever you uh, take damage and stuff. You have any sort of levels of exhaustion all down here. Super, super cool. Uh, you have your, your, your stamina, mana, uh, even right here, grit. Even your grit is all tracked right there to help people remember to use them grit points so you don't die, right? Uh, physical defense, mystical defense, all the values for it, all across here, the heavies and the brutals, all right there. Damage reduction, movement speed, jump disc, oh my gosh, it's all there. Attack, spell, flat checks, initiative, all the things. Anytime you wanna roll something, it's all right here and have your information. So this single little band right here at the top of the sheet, my gosh, that, that alone just makes your life so much easier uh, when you're running games in here. Even if you, even if this is all you really use it for, it's just so, so clean. And uh, going down further here, we have different sort of features. There's a commander have, we have off to the side. Oh, I'm an orc. There's all my orc features are in here. Things, things I get from my background, things I get from subclasses releasing soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, Commander class features, weapons you have, skill checks, the value for your skill check, clicking a button to make a skill check. Man, all right there. And if you click on that longsword weapon, here's an actual clip from the video. There's me and another picture of me. Also, there's Bailey right here, and here's Patrick right here that have been uh, leading the charge in this whole situation. Uh, Bailey Wiki has an entire YouTube channel that showcases this entire process, too, if you want to check that out and get even more information up to date, top of the line. So this is that longsword I showed you, and this is an actual clip from the thing. If you hold your cursor over certain things, like uh, doing a maneuver to apply the day's condition, doing a maneuver to apply bleed it says oh dc 14 physical save versus days it gives you the short streamlined stuff uh, if you want and then there's also the rules lookups if you actually click the actual word to show the full rule and the menu and all the the full text right so it has both full text and summarized text very well done and if you look at all this it has all these little action points and this is how you would build your own attack make your own custom type of attacks in dc20 like we all know how to do is adding maneuvers power attack giving yourself advantage all those types of things are all right here in this one clean and beautiful screen and if you want to even get even further here you see how it all has all these different bonuses if you're wielding it with two hands you click this and now it adds that plus two for the versatile weapons if you're flanking this is the little symbol for flanking click that it adds the plus two for flanking flanking because you're flanking the target so it automatically bakes in all these things cover half cover all of that if you have any help dice if you have any help dice given to you from an ally or a, 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 a hunter's made a, a, a heavy attack with a hunter's mark and all that kind of stuff and they have a dice you can account for it all right here if you want to give yourself advantage you can literally click the advantage spending an action point to do so see this little action point tracker right here so oh, i want to i want to spend one of my action points to give myself advantage 
Well, cool, you click that and this increases as well. But I'm gonna play this little clip here and actually show what's happening here. This is the expected cost is one action point, just like I showed the little symbols there of what they mean, one action point. And you can actually see going to each of these things, wanting to do day's maneuver, you click that and it adds, now it's two action points. You add the, uh, what else did you do? Sweep attack, three action points. And you can actually add the action points and build out your thing and then you Roll the dice and it spins your action points. There you go, he added bleed as well and made it one big old maneuver for all four action points. And you can also take that away, as is beautifully showcased here in this video too, and click this to actually spin action points to give yourself advantage, just like I talked about a second ago. And here's another little screen grab of an actual enemy. Uh, an actual enemy stat block that is structured in the same type of way as the player, so it's all clean and intuitive, and all so right and, and right there with all the abilities that they have here. How many action points they cost, all that stuff. You click it, and then here you can see off to the side that long short attack that we talked about a second ago, the damage it dealt, all that kind of stuff. It's all here on the side that you, the game masters, can also interact with. Time out. I'm sure you're wanting to take your games to the next level, like you're seeing right now with this digital tabletop, taking your digital game to the next level. But if you want to take any game at all to the next level, I gotta show you guys something. I'm sure you're familiar with Guy from How To Be A Great GM. He has helped me personally become a better GM and he has a brand new Kickstarter. But he's flipping the script this time because instead of showing people how to be a great GM, he's teaching people how to become great players. The Practical Guide to Becoming A Great Player is an over 250 page system agnostic player facing book. It tackles literally everything from starting off at character creation, being able to create an interesting and unique character with flavor, not just mechanics. It helps the most intimidating parts like creating a backstory and making it actually interesting and giving them motives and goals. There's also random tables, useful generators, tons of different examples to get your brain and creativity going. And my favorite part of this whole book is an actual part about creativity, imagination, uh, improv. This book literally coaches you up on how to be able to role play better as a character, which is some of the most intimidating stuff. I can't help but endorse this as the dungeon coach trying to help coach up people in games. I think this might be one of the best resources for players. Now, I know most of the people watching this video are probably game masters, but I think this would be a great tool for your group. Buy a copy to give to one of your players. Share the link with your players. You get the idea. Kickstarter launches on November 4th and is only open for a little bit of time, so check out the link down in the description. Check it out for yourself. And this is also not sponsored at all. I genuinely love the stuff the guy does. I think he's helped me personally. I think he can help you all too. All right, let's dive back in. Now for the character creator. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane to be able to do this. Even if you're not even playing in Foundry, you can build a character in Foundry and then you just have your character sheet right there. You can build characters. It's, so, and it's, it's all free too. So whoo, 0.8 is gonna be absolutely free to the public to be able to play around with just like we're showing here. And when 0.9 releases and all the other kind of bells and whistles, that's when we'll start talking about uh, the different type of content that's going to be uh, released behind 0 0.9. But uh, this is the character creator. Uh, you have uh, might, agility, character, uh, uh, all the different type of stuff you can uh, choose to put your points into. This is the point buy version, and there's a you can you can check this box right here and it provide it manually. So you can do the standard and put in there all the the numbers in if you want to by yourself, or it has the adding it up things and you can do the points left. You have 12 points to spend and put in all your points and all that kind of stuff. So it has it has all your options for you. And this these also these features will be expanded on as well. So. Uh, then it takes you to select your ancestry. Which one do you want? You have all these different ancestors to choose from, default traits, expanded traits, but don't worry, they also let you be able to swap out your traits and change them around. And there you can even, uh, uh, Patrick even went into and showcased how you can make your own uh, background as well uh, by actually being able to swip, swash, switch around and create your own. Like, oh, uh, I wanna do a Dragonborn plus a human or Dragonborn and Angelborn. You can uh, combine and mix, mix and make your own all together, right? Uh, and then you choose your class. You choose your class. It all, it's all very safe. You're not customizing anything yet. You're just choosing what your things are. And it's super cool to be able to just be like, okay, I'm this ancestry, this class. And then, oh, I'm starting equipment. It has literally, they've thought of everything uh, going all the way through. And now, once you've established and made your choices, now you can start to customize your choices about, okay, well, here's my uh, draconic lineage and uh, I have these are my default traits. Well, what if I wanna click this box and check this off and add this in there and this is when you can swap out all your points and, and, and trade them out and everything, make sure you have that five total. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could be like, I'm gonna take away draconic resistance and then add in this one and this one and there I got my totals back again. Super cool to be able to see that with the classes. Uh, you also are able to, uh, in this, in this version right here, 
if you're a marshal, you can choose your maneuvers and you actually get a pick and go through all the different maneuvers and be like, okay, I'm gonna take this attack, that attack, all that kind of stuff as far as maneuvers or techniques go, if you're if you're a champion. Uh, and then spells, spellcasters are gonna be able to do the same thing, be able to pick your spells. Then you go into skills and you can pick all your skills. They have it all baked in here to be able to trade in a skill point for uh, uh, trade points, trade in trade points for language points, all that kind of stuff is all accounted for in the big picture of your character sheet. It's been super cool to see uh, what they've done with the character creator. And character creator, also you can level up. There's this little uh, up arrow up here on the top and you actually can automatically level up your character. It takes care of all the stuff so you don't miss anything, hands you literally all the stuff that you get uh, along the way, it lets you be able to choose things. It, it knows if the thing you've chosen, if that has extra choices you need to make as well. God, they've really impressed me with what they've been able to come up with. And all of this is available right now for free for you to go around and mess with and tinker. Even if you're not a Foundry person, I will be making videos of any sort of tabletop role play game, VTT, uh, information and news of all these different people that are making stuff for DC20. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I talked to Bailey himself, and here is Bailey's instructions on how to actually get, get into Foundry and get be able to download this thing. Just go to your Foundry admin interface, Game Systems tab. Click Install System and just type in DC20. Click the Install button and it'll entirely install the whole thing for you and you can go to play with it. Create a new world, choose DC20 for the systems and that little drop down thing and you're good to go. So a huge props to Patrick, which is who's a member of part of my team and this whole digital dev team being able to go join up with Bailey. Bailey has been a pioneer for Foundry and everything he's done for Foundry over the years. Them two teaming up together with the rest of Bailey's entire team have truly made something impressive. As far as VTT goes, they are leading the way right now, pioneering and forging a new path to make it a fully it, yeah, guys, it's really impressive what they're doing. I can't wait to see what the future of all this VTT stuff holds. I'm gonna get in there myself and be playing some Foundry myself. Maybe I'll make a video with me actually playing it and just showing you how it's done live like that. But if you really do wanna check that out, genuinely check out Bailey Wiki's channel. He's got tons of stuff like that already. And uh, that video is also down in the description as well. So until next time, stay creative, think inside the box. Peace.